Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss about accommodation, accommodation in I. Accommodation is the process of changing the shape of the lens to focus on near or distant objects. The lens has to change its shape so that it can focus near and distant objects properly. As you see, this is the structure of the eye. And here, what happens that light rays from the object, it enters into the eye. So first, these light rays are refracted by means of cornea. And then these light rays, when enters the lens, here refraction occurs. So basically, double refraction occurs. Now, the purpose of this uh, refraction is to focus the light rays properly on the retina so that image is produced. Now, when these light rays focus on the retina, so what happens that retina converts it into electric signals and transfers it, it into the brain by means of an optic nerve. Brain then interprets the message and then we are able to see the objects clearly. And this is the structure of the lens that how lens is attached in the eye or how lens is placed behind the iris in the eye. See, this is a lens biconcave structure present behind the iris. It is attached in the eye uh, by means of ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments. These ligaments are inelastic and this lens is attached to the ciliary muscles by means of these ligaments. Now, these ciliary muscles and ligaments play a very important role in changing the shape of the lens to focus on near and distant objects. Now, what happens if we are observing things at a distance? So, what happens? Light rays from distant objects are parallel, as you can see. So, these parallel rays, they do not need much refraction. And what happens? that they are focused on the retina. But nearer objects, their light rays, they diverges. You can see here, the light rays diverges. So the lens has to change its shape in order to, ref uh, to refract and focus these light rays properly on the retina. Now, as I told you earlier that ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments play a very important role in changing the shape of the lens. You see here the lens is flattened in shape and here the lens is rounded in shape. So lens as I told you it is attached uh, in the eye or placed behind the iris by means of ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments. So what happens when the lens flattens? The lens flattens because ciliary muscles relaxes and the suspensory ligaments tightens. Suspensory ligaments are also known as zonular fibers. So you see here ciliary muscles relaxes and zonular fibers tightens. And as a result of which the lens becomes flat, flatter in shape. Or you can call it elongated or thinner in shape. But when lens becomes rounder, it is because of the ciliary muscles contraction and zonular fibers relaxation. So when ciliary muscles contract, it uh, makes the lens rounded in shape or the lens becomes fatter or thicker. And when ciliary muscles relaxes, the lens becomes flattened in shape. Now you see here. Right, uh, light rays from a distant object are focused on the retina by means of a flattened lens. So this flattened lens actually, the lens becomes flattened in shape when we are observing things at a distance. And it happens because ciliary muscles, it relaxes and suspensory ligaments tightens. You can see here, the suspensory ligaments tightens and ciliary muscles relaxes. And when we are observing objects at a, um, um, at a very near uh, distance or closer uh, distance, so what happens? The lens becomes rounded in shape. 
And this rounded appearance of the lens is because the suspensory ligaments, it relaxes and the ciliary muscles contracts. So ciliary muscles contract, which causes the rounded shape of the lens. And when ciliary muscles relaxes, it actually results in the flatter shape of the lens. So that's how we observe objects. That's how our lens changes in its shape in order to focus on near and distant objects. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.